Well, I'll give a shout out to our student body. Um, man, those guys were awesome today, showing up, um, supporting their uh, their team, their classmates, like they did. Um, you know, it's Thanksgiving weekend. A lot of those guys could have gone home and. They stayed here and went to the football game, and so I'm really, really appreciative of the students for doing that. I think it just talks about the, uh, you know, the TCU family and how special it is that, that those guys showed up and the crowd showed up and uh, it was really, really good. So, again, appreciate those guys uh, for doing that. You know, um, I, I think you got to give Baylor a lot of credit. I think they played really hard. I think they played hard all year. Um, you know, I think Dave Rand is a very good football coach. Um, I think it shows you how confident those kids are in him, uh, the way, how hard they play. And, um, you know, there's never, never play on film where they're not going hard. And that's a credit to, uh, to Dave and his coaching staff and, and, um, and, and Baylor. Um, just like I said, man, those guys, it's been a disappointing year for them, just like it has for us. And, and um, their players always play hard and uh, they always show up. Um, man, it feels good to get a win. It's been a while, it seems like. Um, and so just proud of our guys. It wasn't real pretty. You know, we had the two early drives uh, that stalled out. Um, you know, had the fumble and then the, the fourth down play that we didn't get. Um, but we never punted. You know, I thought we moved the ball well, you know, the entire game. Uh, you know, Josh threw for, I think, four, 400. 20 yards or something like that. So, thought he really threw the ball well. Um, thought our offensive line really protected well. Struggled more than we should have to run the football, but but I thought the pass protection was excellent. He had a lot of time. Receivers caught balls. Um, you know, it was just what this is supposed to look like, and uh, and so it was good to see it. And um, you know, we were nine of eleven on third down. That's a hard thing to do on air, uh, really. And so again, it's thought we executed well, thought the precision was there, and um, you know, it's, like I said, it's what it's supposed to look like. What did Josh just kind of show you today, especially with his decision making? No turnovers for the first time. Yeah, yeah, I didn't turn the ball over except for the fumble. Um, yeah, he didn't turn it over, and so I was really good to see that. I mean, I think he just gets better every game. I mean, more comfortable, makes better decisions. Um, Gets on the same page more with receivers. We had to move some guys around just because of injuries. You know, JoJo Earl moved outside and um, thought he did a good job when he was in the game. You know, Savion again played well. Obviously, Jared Wiley had a great game. Uh, John Paul played well. Uh, Jalen Robinson played well. Major made some plays. So it was, it was good to see. Um, you know, but again, going back to what you said, I think, you know, kind of that's what young quarterbacks are supposed to do. You know, they're supposed to ensure as they go through. And um, thought he played well. And, you know, excited about about next week and, and you know, going and, and playing against the great Oklahoma team and a big challenge. And, you know, I'm ready to see the continued maturation and growth uh, from, from Josh. Coach, you talked earlier this week about the lack of explosive touchdowns. This yeah. Week. You had four today. Did you like that? Yeah, it was finally good to see that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just hadn't had me, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's been a, a, a strange phenomenon in a lot of ways. Um, you know, there's like, like we've talked about, I mean, there's a million different reasons why, but um, but it was great to get him today. I mean, it really was. I mean, it's just, college football, it's just hard to, to drive the ball, you know, across the field, have a 15 play drive and then finish with a touchdown. I mean, it's just, it's a hard thing to do. You know what I mean? If you if you don't get some kind of explosive play that helps you out a little bit, and in particular scoring play, because I mean, the field shrinks. And, and what happened to us early in the year, not gonna happen today with the turnover and then the fourth down, but what's happened to us this year is as the field shrinks, you gotta be more precise and, and we just haven't been. And today, we, you know, I, I think we were. Um, again, after the first two series and we just got you know, we're getting better and guys are understanding things better and, and I'm encouraged. Um, you know, it's one of those things I wish we had seven games left. You know, um, but we need to need to go in next week so we have at least one more. You guys had two design runs for Josh in that third quarter, that quarterback draw that led yeah. to a big run and the and of course the touchdown. Is that have you guys kind of been holding on to that maybe with Yeah, Chandler I mean, not? look man, we haven't held on to anything. We've we have thrown everything we can at the at the wall. Uh, yeah, it was good. I mean it was 
you know, it's kind of a more scheme thing uh, this week, and, and um, obviously the, the third down run was, you know, got, got some man coverage on the back end, and that was a big opportunity for the quarterback to pull it down and run with it. And, and you know, Josh made a nice read on the on the touchdown, and, and you know, the read was a full read, and, and he pulled it and did a good job getting the end zone. And, you know, I thought one of the things that we did really well today is I thought we blocked down the field. And that, you ask about those explosive plays. A big part of the reason why we scored on those touchdowns is when you go and you look, Savion was blocking downfield a couple of times and, and keyed, you know, Jared Wiley's long touchdown. I uh, think had a big block on, on one of Amani's touchdowns. And, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're blocking down the field like we were today, that, that makes all the difference. How has Savion Williams been able to emerge in these last two games? Yeah, just, you know, I think he's um, got on the same page with the quarterback, which is a very, very important thing. You know, it's, it's, uh, he just continues to, to develop and get better and play with more confidence. and. And, um, you know, I think he and Josh are just kind of starting to get that synergy uh, between the two of them that's really, really important. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he made some big plays. You know, one of the things I thought was a big play today was, you know, Major Everhart making that third down catch. I thought that was a big play. Kept the drive alive, led to a touchdown here in the third quarter. Um, you know, a bunch of guys I thought made really good, tough, competitive catches and, um, you know, allowed us to, to, to move the ball. I think Jared was wide open on the two touchdowns. Was there something you saw on the screen? Yeah, the one, the one was caught him in, in, I believe it was two man, and he showed that he blocked, and he was running kind of a delay route. Well, his guy triggered and blitzed when he blocked, and so it kind of avoided that area. And the safeties were playing those deep routes, and we dumped it down, and you know it was one of those things that worked like it was supposed to. It doesn't always happen that way, but it did there, and then. You know, what we tried to do a little bit was, was show some different motions and movements um, to create a little bit of uncertainty. And the first touchdown, I think, was the result of a little bit of uncertainty. You guys, it doesn't go down in the stat column as a turnover, but I think you guys had four turnovers on downs. Yeah. How big was that for you uh, guys huge. tonight? Those were all, I mean, every one of those stops was big. And, you know, we got some last week against Texas, too. And so, you know, it's good to see our defense rising up in those critical situations on fourth down and, and getting off the field. And they did it a bunch of times today. And as I said, they did some last week and gave us a chance to make a comeback and, and um, you know, had an opportunity to, to finish last week. But, um, but yeah, I mean, they did a great job today. I mean, they really did. I thought, uh, you know, I think those guys, you know, I mean, when they hit us on the wheel route to the tight end, Nick was right there, you know, on the gadget play on the, on the you know, the reverse back to the quarterback and, and the wheel to the tight end. I thought Nick played it well. The guy just made a good play. Uh, it was a big call tight end. It was a heck of a throw. And so I thought our guys were well prepared. You know, we were going to see some different things. Baylor does a nice job with their scheme every week of having something different. You know, they gave us fits last year um, with some things that we hadn't seen before. And I thought our guys really did a good job of adjusting this this week, or this, this year rather. And, um, you know, we just kind of hung around defensively. You know what I mean? We, we um, I, I thought we, you know, limited big plays. Did a good job of doing that. Like you mentioned, money have a chance next week to go maybe hit one more. How important yeah. is it being in a position to be able to have something like that? Yeah, I mean, it's a big deal. You know, the one, the one thing I love about this team is they're going to play hard, man. I mean, they are, and it's been everybody's disappointed with, with the year. Um, I was really, I've been really encouraged by the last six quarters of football that I've seen from this team. I mean, really encouraged. Um, you know, they're, they're going to play hard no matter what. But, but having that carrot, you know, to, to, to get to bowl eligibility is, uh, I think, always a good thing. What did you see out of Jared Wiley in this game? In the yeah, you know, I think made a couple of big plays, first of all. I think that was the, the big the big thing for us, like we alluded to earlier, was just having some big play touchdowns. And Jared had two of those today, and they did a great job catching and running. And, you know, again, I think Josh and Jared are starting to get really comfortable with each other. Jared is such a big target. Josh is kind of starting to understand where to throw the ball and how to do it. And, Jared made some, a couple of really nice plays and competitive plays on some and was open on some others. And, um, you know, I mean, Jared's, uh, Jared's been banged up all year. He has showed a lot of toughness really last month of the season, just, just grinding through stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, he's been, he's had sore ribs and he's had a little bit of an ankle or Achilles. And today he got a little bit of a hip pointer. I mean, the guy just has, has fought through a bunch for us. And um, I, I can't say enough about these seniors that played the last game. It, it, Amy Carter Stadium, I mean, it was, um, you know, I meant, meant a lot to those guys, you could see it, uh, it really did. And, and we talked about that during the week, about making sure that, 
yeah, we sent we sent those guys out uh, with, with a win. So I was proud proud of them for doing that. Coach, you talk talked about the. Can you talk a little bit about the senior class and what they've meant to you? Yeah, I mean, you know, I love these guys. I mean, there's there's some guys that have um, you know been here for a long time. You know, you think about you know, the Jamoy Hodges and the Brandon Coleman's um, that have been here for for a long time. The Nooks, um, you know, they've been through a lot. Uh, you think about the kids that we added, you know, last year. You know, the Jared Wileys and and. Um, you know, Josh Newtons and guys like that that have been really, really important players for us. Uh, and I love this place. I mean, you know, I say it all the time, just, we're all really blessed to, to be here. It's a great place to be. Uh, they understand that, um, you know, and uh, it means a lot to them. I mean, playing, you know, putting the purple on every week means a lot to these guys. It really does. And, you know, I don't think anybody, any of us take it for granted. Coach, you talked about earlier in the week about the defense and, some of the issues being inexperienced up front. It looked like they were getting some pressure tonight. So can yeah, you talk about yeah, that? Yeah, I, I thought we, you know, we were aggressive and, and trying to pressure the quarterback. I think we felt coming into this game that was going to be really important for us to do. You know, felt like we could hold up on the back end and, and thought we got pressure, you know, pretty consistently. And, and it was good to see that. You know, I mean, look, like I said, there's our job is to, to win football games, and there's never any excuse for not winning games. And so. You know, we are a little bit young up front, but we need to win. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? We, we need, there's no excuse to, 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 you know, to not win here at TCU, and we understand that. And, um, and so, you know, we got to, those guys have got to continue to develop. And, and um, you know, the good thing is we have a lot of players coming back that are really starting to play well, you know, when you look across their team. And, and so I'm excited about, again, next week, trying to get to a bowl game, uh, the improvement that we can make going into that bowl game and, and you know that's it's, it's obviously gonna be a big game for us next week. Coach you talked a little bit earlier about some of the struggles you've had running the ball the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Do you attribute that to well you know Baylor did a little bit different thing tonight. Played up played their tackles kinda of head up to, to take our double teams away and then ran the linebackers through. Um, they did a little bit of that to us last year as well. You know I think it's like anything else, you give up a little something to gain something. And so makes it a little bit more difficult to run the ball, makes it a little bit easier to pass protect. You know, because now you're, you're blocking a head-up guy as opposed to a guy in a gap. And so it's like everything in, in football. There's a little bit of give and a little bit of take, and, and that's what we tried to do today is, you know, had a hard time running the ball, um, but we really did a great job pass protecting. And so, you know, that was the trade-off. You know, anytime you throw for 430 yards, you know, you, you had a good day, and, and, um, and we did, and we need to be able to run it better no matter what they do to us. Um, we just got to continue to improve there. Did it feel good to be in a position to get Chandler some playing time? Yeah, it was great to get everybody some playing time, honestly. I think we were able to play, you know, all our seniors. Um, for the most part, there's a couple of guys we wish we could have gotten in. Um, but, yeah, it was good. It was good. Chandler, it's good to get back out there. You know, he's not completely 100% yet. You know, we had a little bit of setback in practice last week, but I think he's closer, and we're hoping he'll be 100% next week. Anything else for Coach? Thank you.